Hey guys, it's Gabby. For today's video, I have some new summer nail ideas for you guys, all using regular nail polish. And I'm telling you now, I absolutely love all of these, so I'm really excited to share it with you. And we're just gonna jump right into it. So starting off with some Aura nails, this is basically the same thing as Radial Ombre, but these have been so trendy this summer, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. I started off with a completely dry purple base, and then I'm gonna grab a pink polish and a makeup sponge, and basically just create a circle in the middle of that sponge, and then take that same purple base and then draw a ring around it. So it's gonna look, it's like a donut pretty much. And I did make the purple pretty wide just to make sure it was covering my entire nail. Next, you're gonna take your sponge and dab it onto your nail. So pretty much I'm just doing little bouncing motions up and down to transfer that color onto my nail. Here's how it looks after that first layer and I did refill my sponge after each nail. So as you can see, the pink part is a little bit big right now, but I think it helps kind of blend the colors together. So for the second coat, I'm gonna make that circle in the middle a lot smaller, and then again, do that ring around it using the purple color. And I think the hardest thing about this technique is trying to keep that pink circle centered in the middle of your nail. So when I go to dab it, I really try to line it up with the previous circle and just kind of eyeball it. If it's not perfectly centered, it's fine. Nobody's gonna notice, but it can be a little bit tricky because you can't see it. Again, I'm gonna repeat this on all of my nails and refill my sponge before each one. This is how it looked after that second coat and I was really happy with it. So I went ahead and removed my barriers and applied my top coat. And I will have the barriers I'm using and also all the nail polish I'm using linked down below for you guys. So you guys know I love my matte top coat. That's typically my go-to, but with this look, glossy. I didn't even apply the matte top coat because I was so happy with how this looked. It just, it looks sweet almost. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's probably dramatic, but I really love how this turned out. I think this one is my favorite. All right, on to the next look. I started off with a sheer base and I'm going to go over that with a quick dry top coat. And I let that dry for about 10 to 15 minutes to make sure it was completely dry because we're going to be using striping tape. So I applied three pieces of striping tape going horizontal on my nail and I'm gonna grab a few different colors and just paint right above that first piece of striping tape and then rip that off. And then I'm gonna take a white nail polish and do it again, but beneath, like in between the other two pieces. I don't know why I'm struggling so much, but in between the other two pieces. And as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna rip off that striping tape to make sure the polish is still wet. That is super important if you're using striping tape. You want the polish to be wet. Do not wait for it to dry you're gonna get some weird looking lines. And like I mentioned, I did use different colors for the top line, but I kept the white line on all of the nails because I really wanted that neutral vibe just with a pop of color. So if you wanna have a little bit of fun with your nails this summer, but you don't wanna fully commit, I think this is a good look to try out. It's like a French tip outline sort of situation. And I did finish with the glossy top coat again. I don't really know. I just felt like the glossy was working with all these designs and I just really love how this turned out too. So here is the final look. For the next design, again, we're starting off with a sheer base plus a top coat, and I let that dry for about 15 minutes because we're gonna be using these French tip nail stickers. So I went ahead and laid those on all of my nails, and I'm gonna pick those same colors and just go right on top of that, remove it as soon as possible to get a perfect French tip line. And if you have not tried these French tip guide stickers out, you should because I've been using these for years and I'm telling you they make life so much easier Especially once you get the hang of using them You'll get faster and it just it works every time another thing because these are neon polishes They aren't as opaque So I did need a second coat for each nail and you have two options here You can go ahead and put that sticker back on to do your second coat I don't even go through doing that. That's too much But I will use that first tip kind of as a guide so I'll just gently go over it really carefully to stay in the lines to get that second layer. So you can stop here, add your top coat and have a fun neon fringe tip moment, but I really wanted to add that white because I like that color combination. So I'm just gonna take a white nail polish and just slide it across the corner of my nail, fill that area in to get sort of a, I, I don't know what to call this, kind of a color block look. And I do have to say, so with neons, they like to show through the white. So even though I did two coats, I'll show you at the end, it still tried to poke through a tiny bit. So if I could have redone this, I would have started with a white tip and then added the neon color on the corner because you can, it's like the slightest amount, but you can see the neon still. Either way, still a really cute look. Here is how it turned out and that is it. So let me know which design is your favorite and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.